All right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> uh, we're ready to get started. Uh, welcome everyone to the Lambda School uh, Friday, July 20th. This is our CS7 graduation and demo day today. Um, <clears throat> so happy that you're here to join us. My name is Ryan Holdaway. Uh, I work on the outcomes team here at Lambda School, and I have been uh, working with these students while they've been preparing these capstone projects for the last month or so. And I'm so excited to share their work with you. Uh, for those who are maybe joining us for the first time, Lambda School is a six month long full time uh, online computer science academy where we uh, train the best darn software developers in the whole world. Uh, so these are students that have been in our program now for six months and are graduating and entering the job market. If you would like to get in touch with them, uh, shoot us an email, contact at lambdaschool.com. Go to our website. I'll put some links in the video description. Uh, but our first group is a team uh, called Ghost Texts. Um, these guys have built... Uh, pretty cool text messaging application. I'm going to share their demo video with you right now. Um, and let's get started. Have you ever wanted to send a random text to a friend just to see how they react? If they know who you are, it's no fun. Enter Ghost Text, the friend you need to prank all your other friends. With Ghost Text, sending an anonymous text message is as simple as entering your friend's number, your message, and a payment method. For one dollar, Ghost Text will anonymously message anyone you want, anywhere in the world. In fact, check out what our fellow Ghost Texts have been up to. Thanks to our hilarious live feed, everyone is in on the fun, and no one will run out of ideas. Enjoy ghost text and prank responsibly. All right, so that's the demo for project number one. Uh, that was ghost texts. And I want to uh, <clears throat> acknowledge those guys for their terrific work. Uh, you can visit them at ghosttexts.com. And try out their application for yourself. Uh, we'll again drop a link to all of the videos, uh, their deployed websites uh, in the comments. So up next we've got uh, our team of hairspray. Let's see what they've they've got to show off. This is Hairspray. This is the home page. We can go ahead and schedule a new appointment here. We'll select a haircut. We'll pick Morgan from Alyssa Stylus. You can see her picture there. We have a calendar component here where you can only select a certain range of dates. For instance, you cannot select today or tomorrow. You can select up to six months in advance. So that would be December 31st. You can go ahead and set the time and we'll hit set appointment. Once you hit set appointment, you'll get a confirmation here, and it'll also send you a Twilio uh, text message to the number that you registered with, and then you'll also get a reminder update via Twilio. And then once your appointment is done, you'll also get another text message asking you to leave feedback on the website. And once we're in the billing page, we have a Strap implementation that makes it as seamless as possible, it feels natural, safe, simple, secure. And then it verifies to see if the payment went through and payment successful. Then it goes over the Stripe dashboard and it uh, confirms the price. So here's our user feedback page. Our clients can leave feedback after they get their hair done. And we're going to go ahead and click on leave feedback. So over here we have our modal with star ratings and a text box. 
where you can leave wonderful comments for your stylist, like great conversation, acceptable demeanor, or a legendary service. This is a model. And we're going to go ahead and click submit, and the feedback will be sent to a feedback page that's accessible by admins. The user settings page allows you to update your account information, click update your info, change whatever you want to change. And when you submit, you get a confirmation that everything was changed. Thank you for your time. All right. Uh, so I realized during that demo that I forgot to list the names of the participants in the first group. So uh, before we do that, uh, great job to the Hairspray team. That team was Anthony Tweed, John Correa, Roy Tan, and Steve Magdan. And then uh, I also want to acknowledge the Ghost Text team. Those guys did a fantastic job. Uh, Tony, Peter Gray, Richard Reese, and Igor Yermak. Well done, guys. Great work. Um, <clears throat> terrific, terrific job. Really proud of you and all that you've accomplished. We've got a couple more demos. We're not even to the halfway point of all the great projects. Um, up next, we've got our Haybot team. They've built a, a Slack integration that's pretty cool. So let's pull them up. Did you ever wish that everyone didn't see your responses to a poly poll? Ever wish you could ask a question to your entire team without the rest of the team reading the answers? Meet Haybot. Haybot is fully integrated with Slack and streamlines communications between project managers and their teams. Haybot allows someone to send out a question to the entire team and receive the responses in a private form. Haybot manages these conversations and sorts them in a coherent way, allowing whoever asks the question to see who responded, what they responded, and when they responded. Haybot provides some personalized preferences as well. For example, Haybot lets you view responses in Slack, via the Haybot site, or even in your own personal email inbox. All you have to do is create an account, sign in, give your conversation a title, choose the day and time, that you want your question to go out, select who will receive the questions, and Haybot does the rest. Haybot is the Slack bot that provides the best platform to build and manage Slack conversations between project managers and their teams, or just anyone who wants to send out questions to members of Slack workspace while keeping those conversations private. All right. Uh, well done, Haybot team. That's really great. That uh, that team was Eileen Eddy, Guy Ross, David Sudri, Lo Sefan, and Mike Streltsoff. Great work, guys. That was terrific. Uh, really cool project. Happy to see it. Uh, let's take a look at the Job Seeker team now. Look at that project. Have you ever been weighed down by the amount of jobs that you applied to and all that information that goes along with it? Have you ever missed an interview, forgotten a key person's name, or just wanted to have the tool to help you prevent from making those mistakes? Job Seeker is here to take the headache out of seeking that job and simply get you hired. Job Seeker provides you the home for all those details, everything from interview times and contact info to managing your cover letters, everything packed into one home. Track jobs from the beginning to the end, from your interview to your phone interview. As a software engineer, we know you do your best to stay active within the community. Job Seeker allows you to maintain a job status, letting you know exactly at what stage you are for each job. Simply manage your jobs by moving them from list to list with our drag and drop feature. 
You can buy a single decision which goes from start to finish and will follow as many jobs as it takes for you to get a response. Or you could become a member for $20 a month. You get unlimited access to all of JobSeeker's features as well as new ones coming soon. JobSeeker was built on a MERN stack, meaning it will be able to scale quickly to service your community and have the database to back it up. Made by job seekers for job seekers, we know what you need and we can't wait to help you simply get hired. Our team of devs consists of Daniel Lara, Aaron Burke, Cliff Kang, and Jonathan Bry. All right, uh, no need to introduce that group because they introduced themselves at the end of that video. Uh, terrific work, Job Seeker team. Uh, for those of you that might be Lambda School students, what a terrific tool for you to use while you are uh, looking for your jobs. So uh, up up next, we have our final our final demo today. Uh, that's going to be the Lambda Face the Lambda Face team. Um, <clears throat> they've built. A pretty cool community site for Lambda School, and I'm excited to take a look at their demo and to share it with all of you. So let's jump in there and check it out. First, there was Facebook. Then there was Bookface, and now there's Lambda Face. Lambda Face is a private community built from the ground up for Lambda School. It offers members the ability to stay up to date with the latest news and announcements from within the organization. Users may also share content and communicate with other team members or reach out to those on other teams. Let's take a gander at how one might use the great features of LambdaFace. Here's John to show us how he uses LambdaFace. Hi, I'm John. I'm currently working on a project as a member of the dev team. Unfortunately, I'm still having some trouble getting my design ideas down with Sketch. Let's see if there's any posts that might be able to help by searching for posts about Sketch. Here's one, but it isn't quite what I needed. Hmm, I know. I'll make a post in the design team section and see if someone can lend me a hand. It's as easy as switching over to the design team side of things, clicking add post, typing my message, and clicking post. Great. Now while I wait for someone to get back to me, let's see if there's any announcements I've missed. Hmm, looks good. Let's check out the new HR post too. This post about someone stealing people's lunches seems pretty important. I'll just click this follow thread button so that I can come back to it later. And whenever anyone else makes a comment, I'll be notified. Oh, look, we already got a notification. Looks like someone has responded to the post I made earlier in the design team section. Let's check it out by clicking on it. Awesome. Nikola Tesla has offered to help me out with my project. I'll reply to his comment and let him know that I appreciate his time. You know, I'll, I'll even upload his comment. These are just a few of the things that I'm able to do using Lambda Face. And one of the best parts is that as Lambda School changes over time, Lambda Face can be easily scaled and modified to suit every need that comes up. All right. That uh, that project was brought to us and built by uh, John Sprawl, Kevin Chan, Thomas Dillard, and Matt Jackson. Uh, I really want to acknowledge the work of all of these students over the last month. They've done a terrific job. As you can see, these projects are really cool. Uh, I'll have links to all of them in the comments as well as links uh, to get in touch with Lambda School. Um, well done, everybody. That concludes our demo today. Thank you for coming. Uh, Great job, students.